How are you guys doing? Good. Fantastic. How the uh, the first couple days of the camp gone for you? You know, when you yesterday when you looked at the film, what did you see and and today what do you expect to see? Uh, yeah, they've been awesome. Uh, definitely had a better day today. I thought. Um, I mean, more reps, more volume. Guys, I thought were, were ready to go, flying around. Defense was fast. Receivers were fast. Uh, but yeah, it's been a ton of fun these last couple of days. Uh, yesterday, I thought we had a good day. Uh, today, we turned the ball over too much. Um, but yeah, I mean, I thought it was a good day overall. Yeah. So, can you explain that a little? Like, you guys did turn the ball over. So, why, why do you think it was a good day for you guys? I mean, we're going one day at a time and trying to get better every single day. Uh, we know that our defense is really good, uh, but I mean, three turnovers, one turnover is, is too many. So, uh, but just because we have one turnover, I thought we turned the page really well. I thought the next few reps after, for all of us, uh, after our turnovers, uh, we, we turned it around really quick, which I think is, is a bigger part than not throwing picks at all. Do you have the challenge of going against Charvarius Ward most of the time, all the time when you're out there. What, what's he like? And um, has he kind of shown off that, that press coverage that you know, attracted him to this team? Yeah, Mooney's super talented, uh, and he knows it, man. I mean, he, the way he carries himself uh, around the locker room, a uh, natural leader, just a guy that the guys gravitate towards for sure. Um, and on the field, obviously, you, know, you can see what he does. Um, I think our, we have a really talented receiver group, so it's a great challenge for them. Um, it's all good. And uh, we're excited to get JV back, too, hopefully soon uh, in these next few weeks. So. Uh, I don't know. I didn't mean to say this next few weeks. I obviously have no idea what his time is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I have a few other questions for you. He's, he's a good friend of mine, so I'm, I'm excited. Uh, I'm excited that he's coming back. I'm excited to get, to get him back out there also. Trey, I mean, all offseason we knew that you were going to be a good guy. I'm sure you knew, and Kyle made it clear now publicly. This is your team. Team's ready for you. Does that make a difference for you just to start camp with it? No publicly, no privately. You know, your teammates talking about it, that you, this is your offense and your team? You know, honestly, the only difference I was hoping you guys would stop asking about it all the time. Uh, well, thank you. But, but now, for me, it wasn't really like a moment or anything like that. Uh, I mean, I've been excited. I've been prepared. I thought, you know, preparing to play since, since the day I got here, the day I got drafted. Um, so I'm obviously excited for this year. Uh, but like you said, nothing's really changed uh, this whole offseason. I would imagine that a lot of people have asked you, you know, what's going on. Did you get a lot of feedback on what day was it Tuesday when Kyle made it official? Did, did a lot of people reach out to you? I mean, people that saw you guys post on social media and, and the press conferences and everything like that, um, that really didn't know anything that had been going on, you know, in our building. Um, but no, nah, nothing, nothing too crazy. There wasn't really an aha moment or anything like that. Can you Brandon said yesterday that the first time you guys trained together that you thought he was giving you dirty looks. Yeah, I mean Brandon had a great off season. I thought this year we got to spend a lot of time together. Um, you know, this spring and especially this summer between OTAs and, and camp. Now um, I got to you know get to know him better, which which helped me out a lot, um, and but also a few of the other receivers as well. Uh, yeah, the first time we trained, I don't know if you know anything about Brandon. He doesn't talk a lot, so the first first couple of times we worked out together. Um, he didn't talk to me at all, like right after I got drafted. Um, he said it was up to me and we went to work, uh, but I kind of just, just learned really quickly that's just kind of how he carries himself. Uh, he's about his work, he's about business when he's, when he's on the field, um, and even when he's not. Uh, but yeah, we're, we've gotten really close this offseason, and I'm super excited for him this year. Kyle mentioned that you guys ran up a hill together, some kind of suicide hill, he said. Uh, whose idea was that, and how difficult what was that? Uh, it, was, it was pretty difficult. Uh, me and me and BA ran up it. Uh, we had heard about it a few times uh, from from John and Kyle and, and some of those guys that, that stayed down um, in, in SoCal in the off season. Um, so yeah, we, we definitely had to go out there. It was tough. It was, it was tough. Tough to set up every round for sure. Kyle Lynch, dude. <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> he's, a, he's a monster. I will say that. Is this in the San Diego area or, or Orange County? Yeah, San Diego area. Okay. There were a couple times Kyle was definitely talking to you after some throws and some decisions. Was it how much back and forth is there? Is he coaching you pretty hard? I mean, on the field it's hard because you know we try to keep the tempo of practice going, uh, so we don't talk a whole lot. But maybe a, a quick comment. I'm asking what he thought about it, um, or if he saw something like different, did something different. If you see him behind, he, he goes through the play with us, so he's always pointing to where he'd be going with the ball, um, even if he couldn't have made the throw. <laughs> but uh, it's, it's fun and it helps me out a lot. Uh, him standing right behind always, and, and he sees every single play and knows where he would have gone with the ball. Uh, but most of it will go down in the meter. On some of those broken plays, does he encourage you to run it, or is he saying hold on and, and keep looking up the field? 
neither, honestly, uh, just playing ball. Trey, can you kind of describe the dynamic that you're going to have with Debo Samuel once he gets back on the field and uh, what he's missing or what he's missed this offseason, I think? Uh, yeah, I'm just excited to get him back. It's good to have him out there at practice, have him in the meeting rooms uh, so he can still be on the same page. I know he's got his body back in shape, uh, so he's in a great spot. But, yeah, definitely excited to have him back out there on the practice field uh, whenever that is. Which brand you watch video of last year and yourself. What are the biggest improvements, adjustments you, need, you think you need to make coming into this season? I mean, last year I uh, was diff definitely in a different spot mentally, I would say. Um, just feeling a lot more confident this year coming in, knowing what I'm doing, knowing the offense a lot better, knowing the guys a lot better, uh, and having been around this organization, this coaching staff for a year, uh, I think it'll be a great thing. As you said, there was no got you moment on the starter, but when you walked out yesterday with the helmet on, was there a sense of, all right, the job's mine, let's, let's go to work? Honestly, nothing changed. Like I said, this whole offseason's been, been pretty much the same. Uh, it's been my mentality, you know, since this whole offseason for sure. Um, so, yeah, nothing, nothing really changed for me. You, you did get a new quarterback's coach, so can you? what's the interaction been like with Brian? It's been awesome. I thought OTAs were super important. Um, just his, him having coached, him having played, uh, us just spending as much time together as possible has been awesome. Him and Clay Kubiak. Um, we got to spend a little bit more time with Clay last year. He ran and helped run the scout team. Uh, he was on the defense side of the ball. Uh, but yeah, it's been awesome. I mean, we see the game the same, uh, all three of us. Um, and also having Nate and Brock in the room has been a ton of help for me as well. And those guys, those guys can play. Brock made a big time throw today. Nate helped you out a lot last year, didn't he? How, how, can you give us some examples of why he was such a good mentor? I mean, yeah, he's been, I think he's year, year seven. Don't quote me, I think he's in year seven. Um, so he's been in different offenses, different situations. Um, I, I know he loves it here, and I, and I love having him here. I was definitely, definitely hoping that uh, we would have, be able to keep him because uh, he could easily be, be playing somewhere else. Uh, so I'm, I'm super excited for him to just to be in the room. He's a good friend of mine uh, off the field as well. Have you come across Jimmy guys? the last couple days around here? What you saying? Yeah. Have you come across Jimmy Garoppolo the last couple days? Yeah, I saw something Jimmy the last uh, yesterday. He was in here on Tuesday yeah. uh, for his physical. So yeah, I mean, it's, it is what it is. It's nothing weird at all. Like I said, I got, I've never had anything I could possibly say that's bad about Jimmy. I mean, he's been a big bro to me. Since the day I came in, uh, he could have made things hell for me, honestly, last year. Um, he didn't. He, he helped me out with everything. Uh, so I'm super excited to see him healthy, super excited to see him thrown again, and, and super excited to, to see what he does. In terms of being the team leader, obviously a lot of people like the way Jimmy was a team leader. Is there anything you can take from him as you try to get this team and, and be one of the team leaders? I mean, everything, yeah. He was a great leader on this team. Um, he handled himself the right way, the way he went about his business. Uh, he was locked in every single day, just, just a true professional. I know QBs don't always love talking details about their delivery, but is your delivery a little tighter, do you think, this, this season? Unless you guys decide. <laughs> Did you work on that? I, I threw a lot of footballs this offseason, I'll say that. After working out with Ivy last summer, one. who's faster between you two? And speaking of speed, uh, what are your early impressions of the game? Yeah. Between me and Brennan? Yeah. Brandon's faster. I ain't gonna hate. Um, but yeah, no, Danny's obviously super special. Uh, his speed is one thing that, that separates him. Um, he's gonna continue on the offense, continue to get more comfortable. Uh, but yeah, we're super excited to have him here. We got we got a few guys, uh, Marcus, Malik, uh, Brandon, Juwan even. Uh, a few guys that can go. So I'm super excited for this year. All right. Thank Appreciate you guys. Uh, Nate Sudfeld is gonna be next for us. Guys.